Morning everybody. And hello to everybody watching on catch up, catch up, playback, whatever you like to call it. I suppose catch up sounds like I'm saying catch up. <laughs> A few minutes early today because I'm sort of ready. I thought I'd set this up so you could see better. Hang on. Wait a minute whilst I fiddle with this because it always shows differently on the waiting page than it does the proper page. So there we go. <laughs> I just wait for everybody to come in. Hope everyone's okay today. It's a lovely morning here. It's all sunny with little light fluffy clouds in the sky. Hi Terry. Hi Diane. I'm not. I haven't got my bird book morning and as you probably can tell from the uh, title hi Stephen hi Marg hi Susan <laughs> from the title I'm gonna paint some poppies <coughs> so um yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I'll just run through what I've got quickly um, this is a uh, £140 cold pressed paper on a gummed block so it stays nice and flat because I use a lot of water. Hi Caroline, did I say hello? Hi Trevor. <laughs> um, I've got some nice clean water. I've forgotten to change it again. Oopsie. <laughs> um, the brushes, I'm going to use, be using some bigger brushes today because, um, because because, because, <laughs> that's what I use. Hi Susan, I'm not sure I said hello. <laughs> Sorry if I miss saying hello to you or say hello to you about five times. I'm going to be using a Princeton Neptune brush, probably. I might not, but there. <laughs> I'm going to use a Pro Art Condenser brush. And I've got my little skinny sea white brushes, a number of 10. These. I wouldn't go by numbers of brushes because um, I just go by the look <laughs> because all different makes make different sizes even though they've got the same numbers. This is a 16 and this is an 18. So they're quite big brushes and they hold lots of water. Uh, I've got a bigger palette here because I want to like let all the colours like mix together. And I've got a, uh, uh, it's another word I can't say, pearl scarlet and a zillion crimson. Um, I got a, I think it was a Daniel Smith Moon Glow over here or something and a blue of theirs. I've forgotten what that one's called. I've got some Indian red down here and a burnt sienna, burnt umber, raw umber. Yeah. And then I've got some greens here. So that's going to be like the basic colours from my poppies. But I've got my other palette underneath just in case I need something else. Um, did I say hello Patricia? <laughs> hi Patricia. And um, I've got some hydrous watercolour. I've got a permanent red here and I've got these bally ho. <laughs> so I'm calling them now and that, that's it. <laughs> bally ho. I've got a um, crimson and a bright red. So like poppy colours. I haven't painted. I wish I could show and the wish I could show you what I'm gonna paint as I something came up on my um Facebook feed the other day. I put it on Facebook yesterday and it's a really nice poppy painting. It's one that I probably did like fifteen odd years ago. And I haven't painted poppies like that for a very, very long time. So I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> so let's see if I can See if I can um, do it. I'm going to make a mess, probably like that one I showed you the other day. <laughs> Hi, sh share deals. I hope I said that right. <laughs> she says practice first on sketchbook. No, I like to just go straight in. Go straight in and just paint just go straight in and and saying that I haven't 
got a colour here that I want. It's right up here. So I'm going to start off by just doing this. <laughs> And it's going to be green down here. That's the sky. And this is where the poppies are going to be. So I'm just dropping in lots of water. And, ooh, that's a pretty colour. <laughs> a bit dark. That's a bit blue, really. It's like one of those really bright peacock blues. I don't want that, but it will come off. So there we go. <laughs> Loads of water. This is how I paint. If I remember, this is how I used to do it. <laughs> oh, I don't want that colour. It's too blue. Remember, don't go for that one. I want a dark. A bit dark up there. Looks good, doesn't it? Right, where am I going to put my poppies? I'm going to stick one here. This is just um, kitchen towel. I'm going to put one up here. That would do it, I think. Yeah. I've got a bamboo skewer here. I'm just going to do this to start off some grassy stuff. It's quite quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, pencil. I've got pencil. Oh, what colour do I want? What colour? I can't find the colour I want. That's one thing I didn't think of. This is like a brownie colour. <sighs> right. Red. Nice bright red to start with. This is this is where the poppies are going. It's a poppy. This is a poppy. That's a poppy. And that's a poppy. <laughs> Fearless painting. Yeah, well, I I used to do these God, so many times it's just unbelievable. <laughs> it's starting to dry up now. I don't want that mark up there. Stick that there. I'm going to stick a bit darker colour up here. I just like letting all the colours run into each other. Some darker greens in. It makes it will start making sense in a minute. <laughs> Let's get some, ooh, you might be able to see them happening. I'm just going to blot out some areas. I just like to let the paint do what it wants and then I come in and blot out some areas that I want for the poppies. And I might come in and add a bit of red in here. This is New Zealand Crimson. I do like that colour, but... It is stuck in the tube. Get off. I've been missing painting like this, I think. So I'll stick that bit of that in the background. <laughs> I'm just sort of letting that settle a little bit. I'm going to come in with a bit of bleach just to... Um, Make things a bit different. I might even use a little bit of, if I've got it, um, yeah, it's here. <laughs> a, bit, a little bit of alcohol just to, ooh, it's a big drip. I didn't want it that big. I'll probably cover it up. I wanted to like make it look like there was, no, oh, it's going to be annoying. I'll put a bit on my finger. Um, just like to make it look like there's, um, like little dandelions or something in the background. A bit of texture. I don't know. There we go. 
I'm going to come in with my blotting paper. I'm just going to blot out some areas. The freedom, yeah, I like painting like this. I've sort of stopped. So, and I looked at the painting that came up on my feed the other day and I sort of thought, why don't I paint like that anymore? <laughs> And I'm just going to come in with the um, a bit of tissue in the shape of a. Um, <laughs> this sounds weird. In the shape of the bud of a a poppy bud, if you know what I mean. You, you know what they look like, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to block out some areas so I can. Don't want that there. It's a big blob of stuff. So I'm trying to get a bit of light in here as well, so um, I'm just going to block out. I might add a bit of yellow here just to... My brush is so floppy. I love this brush. I'm just going to add a bit of yellowy green in here. Bright green and yellow. So I want it to look like the light's coming in from somewhere. Sorry, Chloe, if you miss it, it'll be back on playback later and I might even edit it so you, you don't have to listen to me talking. <laughs> you haven't missed much, really, because um, it's just a quick painting, really quick. I'm just going to blot out some areas. This is um, back to the blotting paper. Sort of randomly. And um, this is a green watercolour pencil. I'm just going to randomly do that. <laughs> so I'll try and make it look like there's a stem to one of the poppies at least. If it comes out, sometimes it doesn't lift out everything. Now I'll do one with the um, talk. The talky one will still be up, but then I'll edit one where you just see me painting. <laughs> yes, Clay, I'm working on a block of gums block of paper because I hate stretching paper and the amount of water I use is ridiculous. <laughs> and it would, it's, it's buckling on here. So I'm, I'm just going to come in with this. I haven't used this before <laughs> for ages. So I've forgotten. I've forgotten what I used to do, but there we are. I tried to find a, a video of me painting it, but I couldn't. All that's doing. Add a bit of bleach to make it move. Move. It's moving now. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. <laughs> right, this is where it starts to look like it's supposed to. <laughs> I'm going to come in with a, no, I want green. I've got my smaller brush here. I'm going to give the poppies a like, middle. The ones that you can see the middle of, like those ones. I'm not sure about this one. Should I? Yeah, why not? Let's give it its middle there. Thing is, I need to let this dry a little bit. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Brown and um, a bluey colour here. So umber and some adding some dark areas in. To throw back. I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm good. Or should I? No, I might leave that white there. Sorry, I'm missing on the chat because I'm concentrating on my painting. <laughs> Oh God, what was everyone talking about? I missed that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm absorbed by my painting, that's why I'm not saying much. <laughs> I've missed, missed some little areas that I wanted to keep, blot it out. Um, this poppy needs like a stem, I need it to dry a bit. Dry, quick. <laughs> Adding a little bit more salt, just for more textury stuff. And let me just add some detail to the middle with some of these poppy bits. I feel I'm out of practice doing these. a little detail on a few of them, not all of them. Let's do that one. Thank you, Charlotte. Where's Conway? <laughs> Where's Conway, Patricia? I don't know. <laughs> I, I need this to like dry a bit, but I don't want to use a, a heat gun or anything because it messes up all the lovely textures that come out of it. So I'm, I'm just, oh God, I don't want a big blobby stalk. Oh, messed it up. <laughs> I'm stick my finger in it again. Put a bit of blue in there. I just wanted a bit of a darker, oh, I don't know. Blend in. I don't like this big. That was going to be like a poppy stem going up there. I suppose it looks like that now. Now I do, um, I, when it's sort of drying, I start doing a bit of negative painting to make the flowers pop out a bit. Uh, the, this blotting paper, how do I buy it? I buy it in sheets. You can get it from most places like, um, I don't know, I think I got this off of um, the works or somewhere, somewhere like that. <coughs> it's just, you use it for um, calligraphy. When you, um, you can use paper towel as well, kitchen paper towel, if you fold it up. But I find this, find this um, works better. Let's put some stems in. I'm going to add some little poppy details. I'm just going to sharpen this pencil. New Hampshire. Yeah, I want, I'd love to go to. I've never been to America. Never been. My pencil's not sharpening now. I'm going to cry. Yeah, um, yeah, coffee filter will probably work. The same sort of way. And also a bit of watercolour paper that's really absorbent or something. Just roll my sleeve up because... I don't want to... Try not to lean on it. <laughs> Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Can you see? I don't, don't know. 
zoom, zoom. I'm, I'm just going to draw in some little details. Normally I do this as the last resort, <laughs> the last resort, <laughs> the last bit of my painting, but um, I want this to dry a bit just add sort of a, a dark area. And I give it a little, where's my sandpaper gone? There it is. So it looks like the blossoms. Let's get a bit of that bright red. This is quite a dry brush I'm using here. Just to add, um, I don't know, what do you call that? A bit of texture. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just adding a bit of water into it. Make it look more like a poppy. It's better. I want to do a stem to that poppy. So I'm coming with some greeny gold colour. Sort of follow the do. Chloe says she started her starling. <laughs> Hope it's going well. I got fed up with painting birds. <laughs> I get bored too easily. <laughs> so I thought, I thought I'd do this poppy painting today. Just to mix things up a bit. Um, I'm sort of trying to add some details. There's like a... I just do a little bit of the negative painting stuff. This is like a little poppy bud here. You can get carried away. Oh, you can't see because I zoomed in, didn't I? <laughs> Let me zoom back out again. There we go. I just did some negative painting down here. And I'm going to do it. Looks a bit. Let's give it a little bit of shadow. This is a bud up here, but um, I don't want to. Make it stand out too much. <laughs> and there's a bud here. So what colour do I need? It's a bit of a lighter colour. Is it set? It's sort of coming round like that, and it falls down. Oh, I didn't lick my brush then. Yeah. <laughs> I've been a brush licker. <laughs> so if I stick my head in it, in the view of the camera do that sometimes. Um, there was another one over here as well, so I need a darker colour. Blend it out a bit so it, so it shows up and now I've lost the stalk. <laughs> Let's make a shape, make a stalk shape. Sorry, I lost the chat there for a minute. I, it's, I don't know what it's doing. It's doing strange things. <laughs> um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my green. Let's see here. 
I don't like this pencil, it just doesn't work as well as the cheap one. This is a cheaper home hobby one and it smudges around a lot more. This one doesn't seem to like the water so much. Doesn't dissolve quick enough for my liking. <laughs> right, it's getting there. <laughs> Slowly, it's just adding the final little bits. I wanted more um, stalks and things in the background, but because I'm, it's really wet. I wanted it to paint some in. <laughs> we have splashed the sky, and it's not going to be good. I love this little bit here where it's just blushed and this bit coming down. I like my wording, it's blushed. <laughs> Sorry, my chair's gone all squeaky. I'm just gonna block this out a bit because it's annoying me. Just trying to, oops. I'm not sure if I wanted to do that. <laughs> yes, of course I did. Don't want to lose the. L Once you start fiddling around with it, it can start getting a bit muddy. But I don't want it to do that. What pencil am I using? These ones. Um, I've got a mixture. This is the black one that I quite like. Is a um, home hobby watercolor pencil. Can you see that? I can't see. And um, these ones with the like dotty bits on the Faber Castle art grip watercolor pencils. I've got lots of them. Morning, everyone else who's joined in. I haven't said hello. Sorry, I've been too like absorbed in my painting. <laughs> Do another one going that way. I'll stop licking my brush because I just got a mouthful of bleach. Mm. <laughs> Let's give that one a stem. Draw some stems in. So lighter ones just do them I don't know what the one this is, needs to be sort of a green to it finger painting <laughs> I'm glad it's very relaxing could be another bud there sort of thing think I'm going to stop fiddling around with this. When it's dry dry I might come back in and just um, the pop, some, a few of the poppies might need um, a little bit of definition like where this one starts and the background that ends a bit. I might add a bit of dark there actually. Sort of like that sort of thing. That's what I do, just to make one pop out more than the other. That's quite off-putting, though, isn't it? That right now. <laughs> Got it out a bit. Yeah, something like that. And then that's created another sort of poppy here in the background. So. Thank you for joining me, everybody. <laughs> Is there any questions? I think my chat's caught up now. Any questions before I go or anything? 
blocked it like this blob. Blob that one. It'd be different. Once it's dry, it would be much lighter. <coughs> okay, no questions. I don't like that blob either, so I might do something with that, but I'm just looking at it. But once it's dry, I'll come in and I'll show you. I'm just going to add a little sprinkly of salt on some of the wet places. And tomorrow, I will show you what it looks like. <laughs> Hi Kerry, sorry you missed it, but you can you can watch it later. It will be up as a one you can replay and speed it up and slow it down so you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> Thank you for joining me everybody and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.